Flexi Financial's 2019 version 6.2 features a new and redesigned navigation and user interface. The new redesign combines all of the Flexi modules into a single launched application. In this short video, you'll see changes to the user security, search windows, how you can navigate using windowed tabs, a new favorites bar, and how you can use multiple aliases simultaneously. The new user interface is available either on-prem or in the cloud. Here I'm going to launch Flexi Financials from a web browser. Once launched, you'll see that all of the Flexi modules are combined in a single application. If we navigate to the Data Entry tab, you'll see Data Entry for General Ledger, as well as Payables, Receivables, Assets, etc. You will see all of the different modules that you have licensed launched from a single application all in a single window. Here we're logged in as an administrator, so we see all the functions available. But Flexi will now dynamically change the menu structure depending upon the user's profile and security settings. So here if we log in as a different user and who has more limited access and would only see the icons related to her security profile thus giving her a cleaner look, removing any of the functions that she does not have access to from her view. The next feature we're going to look at is the search bar. The search bar in Flexi operates a lot like what you'd find in Microsoft Windows. It allows you to quickly and easily search by typing in what you're looking for to find that function very quickly. So if I want to run a trial balance, I can just type in trial balance instead of look, searching through the menus. You can expand different levels and run the function that you're searching for. Another change is how windows are organized in the main working area of Flexi. Here we're just going to open up a couple of different functions and windows and what you'll see is that it creates these tabs across the top so that you can easily navigate between different windows that you have open. So if I want to jump from some inquiries to trial balances and journal entries, I can just click on the different tabs. Here we'll just open a couple other ones. Many users use multiple windows at the same time. For example, if you're managing vendors while entering invoices and doing payments, or if you're doing journal entries and want to be able to inquire immediately and run reports, Having these tabs makes it easier to navigate and operate in multiple windows at the same time. Next we're going to talk about my favorite new feature, the Favorites window. By clicking the push pin on a Windows tab, it will add that function to your favorites list. This gives you quick access to launch the functions that you use the most. For example, if I'm a data entry person and I do a lot of invoices, I would add that so that I can launch it very quickly. By right clicking on your favorites, you can take some other actions, such as grouping your icons in different ways. For example, let's group by product. Now we have the general ledger functions grouped together and the payables functions grouped together. Next, let's right click and let's try grouping by category. Now we'll have data entry functions grouped together and inquiry functions grouped together. These new favorites and search windows can be rearranged based on a user's preference. So for example, if you'd rather have the favorites as a floating window, you can just drag it from the left. If you prefer to have it docked, you can dock it, dock it to the right, top, bottom, or left, just by simply dragging it and dropping it in the location that you prefer. Here we'll drag it to the top to the bottom, to the left, possibly as a separate window pane, and then we'll bring it back nested within the search uh, window. The last feature that I'll highlight in this video is the ability to run multiple aliases of Flexi in different windows. So here I'm going to pull up three different launched apps of Flexi 
and they're against three different aliases or processing sets. And you can see the name of that processing set or alias in the title bar of each window. This is important for our business process outsourcing users who might be supporting multiple customers at the same time and want to work in multiple windows simultaneously across their clients. This has been a brief look at some of the major user interface changes found in version 6.2. To upgrade to the latest version, contact your support rep or go to www.flexi.com.